friends, family, and social media. I need your help. Last week in California, our rental car was broken into, and over $7,500 in camera equipment was stolen from the vehicle. And that's where this GoFundMe comes into play. Not a big fan of it. It's my last-ditch effort. I had some friends suggest it to me, so I thought, let's, let's give it a try. Uh, the insurance claim deductible is just south of $2,500, so that's what I need to raise to be able to recover um, the camera equipment. Now, I do have a promise for you guys. Um, I don't smoke. I don't drink at all, so you're not going to see me at the gas station spending your money on cigarettes or a six-pack of beer. Um, you know, any and all funds from this GoFundMe are going to go directly to replacing the photography equipment that was stolen. So whether you're my good friend, you're a family member, or you just follow me on social media, you know that just a few passions in my life are photography, adventure, exploring, traveling. Now, some of you might be thinking, you know, GoFundMe's not my thing, you know, let me, let me exit out of this video, but this next part's for you. Now, if we have ever slightly discussed you purchasing prints from me, now is the time to act. All of this stuff is for sale. I have a lot more in other boxes. I've got stuff from traveling around the country, um, stuff from Birmingham, Alabama. All these wooden frames are custom made, uh, reclaimed woods, very nice frames. So if you ever even thought about purchasing prints from me and you don't want to support me through GoFundMe, this is how you need to do that. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. Um, if you decide to give anything at all to the GoFundMe or you decide to purchase a print from me, um, I can't thank you enough. This isn't going to stop me at all from you know, doing what I like to do. With your help, I can get back to doing it faster. So, thank you.